This is such a trippy. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hey, what's up, Heart Squad? I'm opening up these. Some of the rarest Pokemon packs in the entire world, each worth over 100 US dollars. And I'm opening up every single one of them. They are called Expedition Booster Packs. Vintage cards all the way from the year 2002 or 2001 if you want to go with Japanese release. And I'll be opening up five of them. So that is worth well over 500 US dollars, which we'll be opening up today. But you're asking, why would I do such an insane, crazy thing? Well, that's as a thank to you, a thanks to you, because we reached our goal for children's mental health. We reached $5,000 raised for the Child Mine Institute, when I opened up every single booster pack ever created on this channel, we were doing it because we were raising money for children's mental health and we reached our goal of $5,000. And I am beyond grateful, not just because you, the Heart Squad, this community and anybody else showed up, but the funds and the awareness that we raised for such an important cause in today's world that is mental health. And I promise you, if you stick around 2019, it's going to be insane what I have planned. I promise you, you're going to want to stick around this year because it's coming up very, very much sooner than later. Did that make sense? I'm not sure. But anyway, thank you, everybody. We raised $5,000 for the Child Mine Institute. That is why I'm opening up these packs, which if we can, can we get this video to 5,000 likes? So if you can, Hard Squad, please hit that thumbs up button. I know y'all can rally and get this video to 5,000 likes, then I'll probably open up an even more special pack for you. So let's see what y'all can do. So what I'm going to do is open up one pack and then I have something you're really going to like. Tons, whoa, tons of burning shadow booster pack. Burning shadow, excuse me. And uh, we're searching for that hyper rare Charizard, a card that is worth a lot of money. And so I'll be opening up a few packs in between all five of these packs that will be all opened up. So here's the first pack. And if you don't know about Expedition, just a little history because I got to milk it just a little to let y'all know the history of such an important pack. I'm a collector for the Pokemon card game. I love the artwork. Expedition or the e-card sets that came out in the early 2000s this being the base set, have some of the most beautiful illustrations and artwork on the cards that you will ever see. Some of the best cards in the set to get are the Dragonite Holographic, Blastoise Holographic, Mewtwo, Gengar, Mew, and of course, you're gonna guess, Charizard Holographic is the best, coming in worth over 100 US dollars, ungraded. That's just if you get it ungraded. So here are what the packs look like. And these little things on here are from when a time I wish we can go back to. That is when 7-Eleven sold booster packs for just $3.99. I wish we can go back and I buy all the packs. So that's how I got these packs. They still had the sticker and I tried removing this one and it didn't want to come off. So I thank y'all so much for your patience. Let's get into this comes with nine additional cards. This was made by Wizards of the Coast, not 11 cards or 10. That is because these cards, as y'all will see, have barcodes on them. And you scan those with the Game Boy Advance Nintendo e-reader way back when. And because of that, the cost was driven up. So they only included nine cards in the set. So there's a little fun fact. I don't know the card trick with nine cards. So we're just kind of going to go into it. And uh, I promise you, Minus this card, the illustrations are amazing. This is more of that clay animation. So here we go. Ratata. And just so y'all can see it, there's the uh, barcodes that are on the side. And that took up, obviously, way more room, which is why they're called the e-card sets. And Aquapolis was released after this. And then, of course, Skyridge after that. Charmander. Oh, my. 
Oh my, that is gorgeous. Look at that, I'm telling you. Artwork is absolutely, and Bulbasaur, he's praising the sun. The sun, God Ra, or whatever, the sun god, I, yeah. I don't know what he's doing, but I'm told you, it's absolutely incredible. Toe to dial. Oh, so you do get some reverse rares in this set, and there is a Krakena reverse holographics is what I mean, excuse me. And then I guess the rares behind this, and then there may be one more card behind that. And a Raichu non-holographic rare card. I don't care. I know it's not holographic, but just the chance. I'm so grateful to be opening packs like this for such an amazing community like y'all, where we raise such for an important cause. A Dragonair. Okay, so I think it was three cards is the card trick, which I'll do next time. But look at that. Dragonair and a Gloom. Gloom. Uh, is it uh, April 20th there? All right, calm down. All right, so uh, that was the first pack. I'll get into some Burning Shadows packs. And uh, while I get into this first pack, I want to announce again, I will be attending DFW Pokemon Regionals January 19th, which is a Saturday all day at the Hyatt Regency DFW. I hope to see y'all there. I'll have a booth. I'll be able to meet everybody. If you're going to go, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And we get to do... The Lean Hearts trademark, guess the energy game. Psychic. All right, maybe we'll fare a little bit later. Blader, bladder, later. Man, my vocab has just been completely off. Maybe it's because I'm opening up packs that cost more than $100 here. Charmeleon, Wobbuffet, Pikachu, Noibat, Jupiter, Tangula. Rhyhorn, Alolan Rattata, and a upside down, but I'm not gonna frown. Hey, I rhymed! Yes! Yeah, yesterday's video, I was, or two days ago, I was trying to rhyme and I was unsuccessful. Machamp, GX Ultra Rare. So that is a great way. So, great way to start this video. We'll open up maybe another pack or two and get into the next expedition pack. If y'all can, comment in the comment section below your favorite Pokemon card set of all time. Is it base set? Is it none of those Wizards of the Coast sets? Is it Leaf Energy? No. Is it some of the newer sets? Definitely let me know in the comment section below. On this channel, I've opened up like an incredible amount of random vintage packs. Hashtag Magikarp Army. It's a nice reverse rare, and the rare is a slow king. And y'all can go watch that full playlist. I'll put it in the description below if you want to go check it out. All right, let's get into the next pack. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. One time I was walking in 7-Eleven, or like two weeks ago, and I told myself, looking at the toy section, and I saw little Lego Pokeballs or whatever they are, and I was like, man, imagine if they like when they used to sell Pokemon cards here, or if they even did. And then I got these packs and. It says 7-Eleven. I think that's really cool. It's just incredible. Just so happy to be opening these up for y'all. And so I hope y'all do just reminisce in this. Oh gosh. I hope there's no holographics in this one. That's just how these were, these old packs. It's, you never know what you're gonna get. It's like a box of chocolates. Oh gosh, no! Oh my gosh, I did the card trick completely wrong. But well, we got him! We got Charizard! Not a holographic, but this card is still worth a decent amount. Is that... Oh, that is incredible. And Bend of the Cards is not that bad. I can just put it in a book, like, in between. And it makes it straight again. And it's safe to do it that way. So, Charizard! Oh my gosh! That's incredible. I don't have any sleeves right here. Why don't I? Energy Retrieval 2. Energy Restore. There's a Spearow. It looks like a Beatles album cover. Totodile. We pulled you before, but that looks pretty cool. I guess he's on waves or bananas. There's a really, really creepy Krabby. Like, calm down there. Hi. Oh, I love the artwork of this card. Beautiful, beautiful. There's a Pidgey. There's little, like, stars. I guess he got hit on the head by a rock or something, so sorry, Pidgey. And the reverse is a multi-technical color machine. This is totally copying off the Beatles and stuff. But anyway, that is just an uncommon, but most importantly, that's 
incredible. That's beautiful. So there we go. So we have a Charizard, ladies and gentlemen. So let me just, uh, I'm just trying to get the Raichu. All right. So two non-holographics in a row. Let's get into some Burning Shadows packs. And like I said, if we can get this video to 5,000 likes, I promise you, you're going to like the reward. But more importantly, uh, the charity fundraising that I'll be doing here in 2019, Fire. Yes! Yay! Congratulations! Pats on the back. I get so excited about that. Guess the energy game. Um, what we're going to do this year is going to be insane. And uh, I, I hope you all stick around for it. So if you can, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. And another upside down card ultra rare so that's like two ultra rares and three burning shadows packs that is fantastic look at that too so um what was i saying about the uh charity fundraisers and everything for this year i think it was that yeah i think oh no i wanted to say i post videos almost every single day uh at 1 p.m central standard time 2 p.m eastern standard time uh water so if y'all uh, want to know whenever I post, that's pretty much the time, at least for now. It could change in the future, but I find that uh, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time is one of the best times for me personally to post. And for y'all, like more importantly for y'all, because that's when y'all have like told me is like your favorite time. So, all right, I'll open up another Burning Shadows and then we will get into the next pack. And you'll, you'll see every single pack artwork from Expedition today. Um, on the booster pack. I'll say Psychic again. All right, Metal Energy. I always forget about Metal Energy. <laughs> Simsage, Noctowl, Lowland Rattata, Panpour, Caterpie, Porygon, a Sock, Bufalant is the reverse, and the rare is just an evil Disney queen. Seriously, it looks like an evil Disney. How about them Kingdom Hearts, huh? All right. Here we go. This really, really pack is not in the best condition, but it is still a pack. It has cards on the inside. Expedition, there's the Venusaur artwork cover. And then just so y'all can see it, I'll open up later. Blastoise, which is probably my favorite of the artwork, just because the water is like blasted and everywhere. And it doesn't have an a seven it doesn't have a 7-Eleven sticker barco thingy on it. Alright. So I did the it was two cards. Right, I'm pretty sure it's just two cards. Yeah, it should be this. My mathematical skills. No, it will not take me a year to figure it out. Should be just two cards. Pupitar. Meow. Is he throwing money away? Payday. All right. I guess that's the payday. There's another uh, Krabby on something. There's Geodude. Just pondering what is life as a rock. And there's a little sunflower, I guess, is about to destroy. There's Psychedelic Ekans. I believe there's another Charmander card in this set that y'all have to see that is incredible. Hopefully we pull it, the design for it. There's Cyndaquil. This is such a trippy, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This, I believe this is worth over $100 or around $100. Charizard Reverse Rare Holographic. Oh my gosh. That is insane. I'm using that word a lot today. I am, uh, this is, I am in shock right now. The reverse hollow form of Charizard, and the price will have already been on the screen by now of what it's actually worth, but if I'm right, we just pulled a $100 card, which from a $100 pack, how about them odds, huh? But I'm probably gonna get it graded, so. And the rare is a Pharaoh. Non-holographic, but that is okay. All right, I gotta get them right here. Got a little sleeve. I gotta put in. The card is a little bent, but let's just check the uh, centering is perfect. Whitening looks perfect, but the bending is not that bad and there's no scratches on it, so. It's gonna get a good grade, ladies and gentlemen. That is in an incredible pull. I am so happy. Oh my gosh, the things I do. So we got, uh, we have two more expedition packs to open up in today's video, and I'm maybe I'll open up the rest of the Burning Shadows packs. I know y'all enjoy it, and it'll be insane 
and would take over the video if I do pull that hyper rare Charizard because it's been a long time. Also, Lilalala Fairy. Dark Energy. Next up, and we've already pulled two ultra rares from these Burning Shadows packs, so I'm very, very, very ready to get that hyper rare. Non holographic. At least we got the Wobbuffet. I think the Wobbuffet was a reverse holographic rare. So, anyway, Burning Shadows. And uh, two days ago, I posted a video where I went to Target and got blister packs of Burning Shadows because those were some of the early print runs of Burning Shadows by what y'all were saying. Leaf, those blister packs give you a better chance at getting the hyper rare Charizard. And because everybody's been pulling it from those Burning Shadows blister packs. Hashtag Magic Up Army. The rare is a dark or a holographic. So I'm very, very curious to see if. If. And I have plenty more of the blister packs that I'll be opening up on this channel. But uh, that other video I opened up like for the blister packs, so it's pretty crazy. Um, I'll say metal. Lightning. Energy, Business Ethics, Wishful, Lanakila, Noibat, Lowen Grimer, Riolu, Cutifly, DNC, welcome, just come on down. DNC, I always pull this card. Not really the reverse rare holo form, but the holographic form. It's really, really gorgeous card. It's just like, come on. So. Next up is Beware, the card of the set that I really, really pull. All right. We're going to get into one more Burning Shadows packs, and then we're going to get to pack, and then we're going to get into uh, the next Expedition pack, and then uh, kiss over $100. Goodbye again! <laughs> uh, Leaf. Yes! All right! Bats on the back! I think that's a uh, second guess the energy game, Lean Heart Trademark Pattern, it, that we have gotten correct. Grimer. Riolu. Volpix, Volpix again, and oh my gosh! How about that? An escape rope secret rare card. This opening has been magical so far. This is a secret rare from Burning Shadows. Not worth that much, but it's still difficult to pull, so I'm gonna be excited about it. An escape rope secret rare card to go along with our dark rye and two ultra rare cards so with that in mind let's get into the next pack of expedition with blastoise you can also let me know out of all the booster packs uh for expedition what is your favorite artwork of the set and why no you have to say that all right so it's just two cards these are really really bent but I can still straighten them out. Look at that. Is that the rare? No. So Electabuzz is just an uncommon. So like I said before, Wizards of the Coast, which doesn't make the Pokemon cards anymore, Nintendo and Pokemon do, does. This was the first set to not have, I believe, yeah, it was not, it doesn't have first edition stamps on them, if I remember correctly. Graveler, <laughs> Clefairy, what's going on there? Just so much like, Huffin, Huffin, Oddish. Potion. Corsola. That's a gorgeous looking card. Chikorita. Strutting the stuff. The reverse is an energy. Is that a rare energy? I think that's, yeah. So that is a metal energy, which it's a reverse holographic rare. And the actual rare. Venusaur. Non holographic, but that is still Gorgeous! We're getting all of them! It would make this better if we get like a Gengar or Mew or something. But that's beautiful. So, or the Blastoise. I'll go with the Blastoise too. So, alrighty then. We still have one more pack to open. I'll let him watch in the back. We'll open up just a few more Burning Shadows packs. And then we'll finish off the video with our final expedition as a thanks to this amazing community water oh my gosh just on fuego today so please for us reaching five thousand dollars for children's mental health which we raised on this channel when i opened up all booster packs araquanade sounds like a starship troopers type of pokemon or something that was a good movie starship troopers really really enjoyed it 
And don't say anything about anything of that movie in a bad way. I'll say metal. Psychic energy, it's a premonition. We getting something good today. Noctowl, Crabrawler, Sneasel, Venipede, Horsey, Cure to Fly. That is a reverse rare holographic M Gyarados. Welcome Gyarados, a Gyarados holographic from Burning Shadows. All right, we have uh, four more packs, but I'm just gonna open up one last Burning Shadows pack. I'll put these over here because I know y'all want me to get to that last expedition pack. So let's see what we can do. Maybe a little, well, last pack magic will be that expedition one, so. All right, I'll say psychic to end things off. Nose goes, but we still did like claps all around for us. We did such an incredible job at the guess the energy game. We got three right today, or I guess I got it, but if you're keeping track, you can let me know. And the rare is a crap non-holographic. All right, are y'all ready to see the pulls that we have gotten so far? These are just the rares. Venusaur, the card, one of the cards of the set, reverse holographic, Charizard, Pharaoh, Raichu, very nice card, and another non-holographic Charizard, but the other Char Charizard is the one I believe to get, minus the hollow forms of each, of course. Here it is, last pack. 7-Eleven decided they needed two stamps, not just one, because you really needed to know that it was only $3.99. And rub it in future people like myself and you watching. But the prices were at one point that low. All right, these cards aren't too bent. Two cards. Can we get some last pack magic? Hollywell. War Point, or otherwise known as Sonic the Hedgehog card. Shelter, up to no good. There's a Cyndaquil, how you doing? Squirtle, Squirtle's my favorite Pokemon of all time and uh, I really do like the artwork. I think there's another artwork, or this is like the clay one, but there's another one that y'all have to see, it's really cool too. Sparrow, oh no! They make Cubone cards like super sad, but this one like takes it like almost as bad as like, I think the Burning Shadows Cubo. Cubo, or no, Roaring Skies Cubone is like the saddest one. All right, he's crying. Geodude Philosopher Style, and the rare, is a Machamp non-holographic card. So no hollows, but the pool was that Charizard. So I thank y'all, Heart Squad, and anybody else new for watching. Definitely check out the videos this way, I think it is. Anyway, my name is Lean Heart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.